my dudes. Okay, so I needed a video for this week and I was thinking on kind of the plans I've had or videos that I've wanted to film for a while. And a private school Q&A is one that I've been wanting to film because I feel like a lot of people want to know more about it. And also like there aren't a ton of videos about going to a private school or like answering questions about private school. So I think for anyone who is just curious or is going into private school soon, keep watching to have me answer questions and just kind of talk about what it's like. The first thing I'm gonna do is kind of set the stage for my experience. I am a senior in high school and I've been going to this specific private school that I go to for five years. I've homeschooled and done private school most of my life. In kindergarten, I was homeschooled. First grade was the only grade of my entire life that I've been to a public school. And then I homeschooled from second to fifth grade. In sixth and seventh grade, I went to a private Christian school. And then in eighth through my senior year now, I've gone to a classical private school. So one of the main reasons I switched from the Christian private school to the classical private school is because my parents helped open and start the classical private school. The main difference between just regular private schools and like a classical one is that we not only focus on academics, but we also focus on virtue. So not just like trying to get someone to college, but to help form them into a better human being. So that's kind of the gist, the quick gist of like what my private school is about. That being said, I have around 150 kids in my whole school. In my high school specifically, I have 16 people and I have three people in my graduating class including myself. So there will be three girls graduating. There are no boys in my graduating class, just me and two other girls. <laughs> so it's definitely a different experience from other people obviously because I get a lot of comments like, wow I have like thousands of people in my high school and I know that's like weird that I don't but I honestly don't know of anything different. Like my freshman year I was one of seven kids in my whole high school so I just don't know anything different and personally I love my school a lot first of all and second of all there's positives and negatives to going to a large school versus a small school and going to a small school I get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention and you can do things that you can't do at a larger school but there are also things that you can do at a larger school that you cannot do at a smaller school so now that I've kind of set the stage for what my school is kind of like what it's kind of about let's jump into some topics so the first topic, which is probably the first thing people think of when they hear the words private school, uniforms. So everybody's uniforms for different schools look differently. For us, we have a uniform for kindergarten through sixth grade and then seventh grade through senior year. Every single day I wear a white button up shirt. I really wish we could wear polos because those are way more comfortable and I personally think they're way cuter but I wear a white button up with a tie and then I wear a skirt but it's not like skirts that go right below your butt because that would not be allowed. You would get turned around and sent right back home and change. Our skirts have to go to about right above the knee or below. Yeah. And then I also like wearing leggings because, you know, leggings are really comfortable when you're cold and stuff. So I wear those. There is a shoe policy, but it's just kind of like don't wear crazy neon shoes with your uniform that look pretty ugly. So for us, you can wear makeup. You can wear, like I wear earrings all the time. Um, that's kind of what our uniforms look like. And and there are a lot of different views on the uniforms like a lot of people like them because they don't have to think about what they're gonna wear but me personally I really don't like them especially the white shirts because the white shirts make me literally when I sweat I sweat a ton and something about the white shirts is they just like show it I will raise my hand and literally my entire armpit is just wet it's so gross it is so disgusting, but like you can't you can't even do anything about it It's like this is just what the shirts do and if I sweat a lot That's what it's gonna look like, you know, so that's pretty I don't like that at all and There's a funny story because uh, when I was switching schools my old school They had like a dress code, but not like a uniform policy So I was transitioning from like pretty casual dress to like uniforms I thought only the boys were gonna have to wear ties because that you know makes sense Oh no, 
uh, the girls are supposed to wear ties too. My little 13 year old brain could not handle that. I literally bawled my eyes out for like probably a couple of hours. I was so sad that I had to wear a tie, but like now it's, you know, it's just reality. So it's whatever. That's kind of my view on the uniforms. Honestly, like they're not a huge deal. It's just, I would much rather be able to pick out what I wear every day. And I feel like I look better whenever I get to pick out what I wear than having to like wear the same thing every day. The next section is classes. So we have three classes in the morning and they're each like an hour long. And then we have lunch and then we have like 45 minute classes off and on until the last period, which is usually an hour. So they're, you know, pretty decently long. They're pretty usual. I don't feel like that's super out of the ordinary. We do start school at 825, which is really late for most people. But a lot of that is due to like how many little tiny kids we have, you know, they're like four-year-olds coming. Having them start school like seven in the morning would be a lot. We do have clustered classrooms. So that's something that's a little different from like usual schools. So for example, the first and second grade classroom, like it's first and second grade in one classroom with one teacher. And some things they'll have like split for ages. So like for spelling tests, they might have like, this is the first grade list and this is the second grade list and things like that. But that's kind of like the younger, the younger age group for the high schoolers. We're all in there together. And a lot of the time, all of us are just doing the same level stuff but it's hard like it's hard for me it's gonna be hard and you've got to work hard things like math and composition we don't do together those are like very the older kids and the younger kids or like our math classes are like the seniors the juniors you know so some classes are split by grade but most of them are just we're just all in there together so for my calculus class it's just me and another girl in my class so we just hang out together and do math so it's very different from what a lot of people are used to but again to me it's like last year I had four people in my math class like it's not that big of a difference okay so this is a big one I get a lot of questions about this from people who are looking into like going into my school and that is sports so because our school is super young and small we don't have any high school sports i think we have two basketball teams we have a basketball team for the third and fourth grader boys and the first and second grader boys so i mean if you want to catch the game you can watch the little peewee basketball teams play but yeah that's those are all the sports that we have oh and we do have tennis for like middle schoolers during tennis season but those are the only sports that my school has. We have had clubs in the past. I don't know if this is just Ohio. You can play a sport for the school district that you're in. So for example, my sister, um, she loves tennis. She plays tennis, but not on a school team because there aren't enough people to have a high school tennis team at my school, but she plays for the local high school. And I don't know if she can just do that because it's Ohio or if you could look into it and see if they do that in your state, but that's how it is for us. Club sports and stuff, I've done swim team and like you can find sports that like don't have to do with your school. One other topic I wanted to kind of talk about are electronics. So this was like a huge deal when the school first started that there were gonna be no electronics whatsoever, like no computers at school, no phones at school, like like zero. That has definitely changed and I, I personally use my devices a lot and that's not just because like I am a YouTuber, I film videos, I edit, I need those devices. It has come a long way with school incorporating a lot of those in. So it's it's not like a complete zero electronics policy anymore. It is definitely like use them with wisdom. Phones mostly like you're not supposed to have your phone out. It's hard because it's like you're not supposed to have your phone out but like it's okay for these certain things. It's kind of like a, a blurred line like there isn't like a straight like zero nada anymore. It's definitely evolved. You definitely are supposed to use temperance and prudence and like the way that you use things. 
overall I do love my school I would say like some of the main things that have like upset me are probably the uniforms but like that's just a given like that's part of school but then there have been some things with like electronics that I've run into that again because my school is so small they don't they have policies in place but then like new things pop up and you have to kind of work it out so um you know I had to sign this like a uh, project sheet or something to be able to edit in my free time like my study halls but that like got passed and everything and I'm good to go for that so I'm glad that my school is willing to work with me and the things that I'm striving to do and yeah there are a lot of things I wish I had I guess going to my private school but I know that it's only gonna get better and it's it's really cool to be a part of something so new and kind of be like a pioneer <laughs> that sounds really dumb yeah be like a pioneer in in like this school history so I I'm grateful to my parents because they have put a lot of work into into the school and a lot of time and my mom especially my mom is the third and fourth grade teacher I would say my favorite thing about going to a private school is like this sense of community and love and also just the goodness that I'm surrounded by. There isn't anything bad going on, like no one does drugs, no one, you know, no one does jewels in the bathroom. Like I hear about all this stuff that goes on at other schools and I completely like have no... <laughs> Like, a lot of the things I've never seen or, like, even heard about, like, people will say something and I'm like, and what is that? Because I've never heard of that. So, there's definitely, you could say, like, there's some innocence in going to my school, but I would argue that that's, like, a good thing. I don't have to be surrounded by so many things that I wouldn't do or wouldn't want to be around. I really appreciate that. I love the, the friends I have. We have really strong relationships in my class because you're with them all the time every day. I hope I answered your guys's questions. If you have any other questions about going to a private school or my experience in particular, definitely ask me down below and I'll do my best to answer those questions for you guys. And make sure if you're new to subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed. I love you all so much and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye! Some people ask if I get a lemon slice on my water fountain or you know they have little tongs with a little bowl of lemons that I can take off and put into my water bottle well I have to tell you the answer is yes <laughs> no that is false <laughs> we do not you'll be lucky if your water doesn't taste like rust okay maybe bring a water from your house just saying